and I wonder all day Who are you and you and I the one in your way And then I think about myself and I stay I'm a pretty boss, we're gonna shoot your brain waste I'm a freak in the sheets, but I got class I'ma grab an ass if you want it Best you ever had What's up beautiful people out there? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to give you guys an apartment tour of where I live. If you guys are following me for quite a long time, you guys know that I live in an apartment. Where is the sound? Okay. <laughs> I live in an apartment and I don't live in Dometri. So yeah, anyways, I'll be talking about the rent, the utility bills and all later in this video. So I have a bitronga which is pretty convenient for me to get my groceries every week. I just need to go get it downstairs. And also um, towards the right, I have a Livian pan. It's another store here in Poland uh, where I usually get my water and other sort of things. So standing outside and vlogging is not really cool because I still have problems shooting outside. I'm a very shy person, so yeah. A lot of people are coming and standing and saying hi, bye, blah, 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 I don't know, whatever. So anyways, with Without wasting much time, let's go inside and explore my place. I know it looks like a jail, but anyways, uh, we have the lock system here in Poland. All the apartments will have lock system. So this is how it looks like. Without entering the passcode, we can't open the door. So you can see it's locked up there it's like a magnet system so we can't open it unless we put the passcode over here so let me put it and i'll take you guys inside every apartments have uh, different passcodes so that's how we can actually open it if you want to go out you just need to press this bell which would actually open the door so that's how the system works and then from here we can we actually go to the next apartment because there are like two apartments this is a and that is b uh, so i live in the b section and yeah this is a small waste area over here uh, we need to segregate our waste when we throw them so plastics uh, something and something okay so we have like a lot of area and they have also managed to grow some beautiful greenery like there there is some lady who takes care of our building so she manages this area so it's a pretty good place you can see the car going that side uh, somewhere over there is the parking site and then comes my building again before getting into our building we have this light system for the night again coming into this building we have another passcode system where we need to dial in our password to open the door so if i push i can't open so i need to basically enter the password so yeah let me again put my passport password is done and now i can actually open it uh, when we enter itself we have something like this i don't know what exactly it is so just ignore it everything is written in polish and then we have this uh, mailbox system um, so that's mine so we usually look into it uh, every week so that we don't miss on meals and then comes another chair area again we have another one over here for others over here also we have a lot of buildings i mean rooms and then this one is the lift it's a very old apartment because of which everything is uh, kind of old but they're kind of renovating everything like all the old apartments they are renovating even my flat is not completely renovated so yeah let's take a look at it we have the sensor system so that they save electricity we have the stairs and the elevator so i open it and this is how the entrance looks like we have a light over there so we can just switch it on and uh, if someone comes from downstairs uh, they could just put our flat number and we could just take the call and open it for them like this so the person downstairs could enter okay so we close it like this 
when we enter this is what we see and towards our left we have a small storage uh, space usually in european houses we have a small cupboard over here to place our jackets but we don't have it because it's again a half renovated house over here we have a small shoe place to keep our emergency shoes and we have a shoe rack over here to keep our boots etc stuffs and all it's a very good storage place to be frank then towards our right this is where the kitchen is situated um we have the fridge this is the fridge and that's the freezer and uh, the desk area is pretty good the working place is good and uh, yeah we keep we have a micro oven but the thing is it doesn't work something happened and i don't know we keep our vegetables here it's my flatmates uh, plant basil and this is the view from the kitchen so not bad and then we have another table set here and uh, it's an induction stove so pretty good we have like one two three four and an oven um the kettle was given by the landlord this is again my flatmates we have pretty st good storage places um we have uh, not this sorry <laughs> we have the oh, okay we never use the dishwasher so that's the reason it's like this but again all the houses are gonna have dishwashers and uh, the pipe system is also pretty good we could actually take it like this um change the force and yeah pretty good and after the kitchen when we walk forward that's when we have the big mirror over here so all of us use this mirror it's pretty convenient and uh, we have our makeup storage items and all over here so it's like a lot of storage place and uh, yeah some random paintings by our landlord i don't know okay and then this is where we um dry our clothes so it's okay like we don't have a balcony so this is where we dry our clothes it's a three bedroom apartment okay so this is a bedroom two people live there this is the uh, another one one person lives here and this is where i live i'll show you guys this room but before that let me show you guys the toilet and the shower area so this is where the light comes and yeah this is how it looks like that's the heater a big mirror and the washing machine it's a very old model so yeah this were all these were provided by the landlord and we have the toilet here <coughs> So this is how it looks like again indian so that's the water system <laughs> okay so that's it for the toilet and the room and now comes my room there's another switch over here uh, there's another one over there so we don't need to go like all the way there to switch it switch this light off we could just press over here oh sorry for the darkness again my room's uh, light is outside it's pretty weird but it's okay and then comes my room okay <laughs> today is a very cloudy day that's the reason i need the light otherwise my room is well lit with natural sunlight okay so let's get into the room on to my right i have the um cupboard and uh, that's where i store my luggage and also yeah this is how the storage place looks like pretty convenient and uh, it's a sliding door so no extra space is required so pretty convenient on this side too we have another storage place again i don't use it much so okay. so this was the mat provided to me by my landlord as it's a very small room this is good enough and uh, this one what you see over here is the bed also a sofa so it's like a sofa come bed sofa come bed is pretty popular here in europe i assume so wherever you go you will have a sofa come bed provided by the landlord which is pretty good 
and um, yeah uh, if you ask about the softness at first it was a bit hard for me to sleep in this but later I just got used to it so this is something which I bought because I don't like using the main light instead I use this kind of light which is pretty good um, it just gives that warm feel and um, what you see over here is the heater I always keep it in five because I like my room to be always warm as it's so cold outside uh, today it's around nine degrees Celsius so not bad this is the same view from the kitchen I'm not uh, so happy with the view but it's okay again this uh, table and chair is not mine it was provided by the landlord which I'm so thankful for and yeah I also have another light over here so I can work with more light you know <laughs> and then uh, I have a small waste bin over there and then comes this part my favorite part of the room um, I'm I'm not a very very religious person but I do believe in God so the photo is there I know he is in black and white but it's okay never mind I have my Bible I love candles it's over so I need to go get another one my perfumes um, and a small place to keep my emergency things like the key, uh, my cards, pen, my rings. I love using rings and you guys know her, right? She's Natasha. <laughs> and um, this is um, the clock mm -hmm. and uh, gums. I don't know what this is, but again, yeah, I got it from my house and I have my schedule, everything. Again, fairy lights over here. I love lights. And yeah. And then over here comes uh, the tripod, which I use for my vlogging and all. So this is a pretty convenient camera one. And right now I'm using the gimbal, so pretty good combination. This is how the sockets in Poland works. So for sure you will receive one of them. Um, receive this in your room there will be like multiple sockets so i have like one over here and then um one underneath this but i i have like a lot of cables you can see it's a very messed up situation so i bought one of this which is pretty convenient i can put like multiple number of cables and then connect it up and the third socket is actually over there you can't see and over here, I attach my phone charger and the light for this. Okay, so it's kind of uh, too warm inside the room. So I decided to open the window so that I can also show you guys. Um, so I'm going to switch off my heater so that my heater won't go bad. And then we can either open the windows like this. Like both sides we can actually open, but I'm not opening both sides. But especially during the summers and all, it's really nice. <laughs> so opening it itself gives me like really cool air inside the room. And another way to open the window is like if I open it this way, um, there's like a lot of vent coming inside the room. So what I usually do is keep it open like this. So you can see the ventilation is just happening uh, on the top. So as you guys can see, it's only open on the top, which is so cool. And now we have this curtain system, which I never use. I don't use curtain because I really love the natural light just coming inside my room. But anyways, we have this curtain system, which is pretty good if you want that room. This is how it works. And this side we have. So it's like a uh, pricey. Let's see. And guys, the other part is I still don't have a designated spot to sit and vlog my YouTube videos. So I still need to figure out where exactly to sit. I was actually thinking about my table and chair, but again, the lighting over there is not that good. But maybe I can manage with uh, these kind of lights. And um Another spot was on my bed by decorating this wall and another spot which I'm thinking is this or this. So like 
I have like a lot of space in the room, but the thing is, I exactly don't know where to sit. So if you guys have any idea where you think would make a good spot to sit and vlog, please do mention that down in the comment section. And now finally, let me talk about how much I pay for this room with a common kitchen and uh, bathroom, common bathroom, uh, and with two flatmates. Uh, so let me see how much I pay. So I pay around 550 zloty for this space. My internet bill is around 15 zloty again provided by the landlord and my uh, utility bills like the electricity and water bill would be around um, um, it varies like depending on how much I use but expect minimum around 100 zlotys. So yeah, this is how much I pay for my rent in Poland uh, for the last one year I'm living here. So it's a pretty good place for me and even the landlord is pretty good. If there is any problem, I just need to tell her and she would just give me a solution instantly. So she's also very good. I'm super happy to find this place. Overall, I pay around 665 slotties per month for my accommodation. My other sort of living expenses, um, uh, I have talked in one of my previous videos. So if you guys haven't watched it, the link will be there in the description also. It will be showing somewhere over here. I'm not exactly sure. So please do check it out. It will be really helpful for you guys. Over there, I have also shown you guys an example of a Dimitri, uh how it would look like the accommodation provided by the university. And I have also to, uh, spoken about which is more convenient and better, which one you can choose according to my perspective. And guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. If so, you found this video informative in some or the other way, please do give this video a big thumbs up and also do comment down below what you feel about my room. So stay tuned until I see you guys next time. That's a goodbye. God bless.